Hello everyone, we are in historic downtown Stanton at the Mill Street uh, car park and we are out and about today on June Quest. The wonderful thing we found today out watching dragons is the International Station Wagon Club National Meet and there are some beautiful cars we are going to be showing you. So get a cup of tea, settle in and watch some amazing cars being displayed.
Well, today we are here with Chuck Snyder of the International Station Wagon Club. Please tell us about yourself and the club. Well, the club itself uh, began in 2002. We were all members of another station wagon club, which uh, went under. And over the years in that club, there are several of us that became more like family than a club. And we decided uh, we've got to get together just for nothing else, just see, see our friends again. And that first year, we said, you know what? We should have our own club. And we started the International Station Wagon Club. Uh, we've been going for 19 years now. Fantastic. And uh, I was one of the founding members. I'm the last of the founding members. There were three of us that actually got it going. Uh, we have shows all over the country. Uh, we have members all over the world. We've actually had members in Australia, the Netherlands, England. Uh, we have uh, at least one Canadian here today. We, we even let the Canadians <laughs> Good in. for you. <laughs> yeah. I've been president for 19 years. And well done. This is a landmark year because I said I'm tired of being president. So we elected a new president. Well, congratulations. <laughs> and another gentleman, Jeremy Schneider, mm -hmm. not Schneider, but Schneider, will be taking over uh, in the future as president. Uh, most clubs, yeah, say like a, a Chevy club or a Ford club, you can get a lot of members out there. Mm -hmm. Station wagons are unique, as you may know. Oh, indeed. So our, our numbers are small. We like to claim that we have uh, about 500 members, mm -hmm. of which about 100 are active. Very good. And by active, I mean uh, you know, they try to get out every year. Of course. And unfortunately, due to the price of gas, ah, yes. you notice uh, our numbers are small this year. But it's a good t it t for us, it's a good turnout. We, we enjoy mm -hmm. doing this. And uh, coming here to Stanton gives us an opportunity to uh, meet new people that hopefully will join the club and we've already had a few join the club excellent uh you know we come into an area and i advertise ahead of time so people know and station wagon owners are always at a parts store <laughs> so somebody stops at a parts store and says oh there's a show coming up i want to go mm -hmm. and they show up and uh, they like what they see and and join us and that uh, is wonderful we have we don't discriminate any wagon. <laughs> uh, we had one member, I always liked him because his name was Vern Hillman. And he had a little foreign wagon, a Hillman. Did he indeed? <laughs> <laughs> Which I always, I always thought that was kind of neat. Absolutely. But, yeah, we have had several foreign wagons, uh, mostly domestic. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing, I guess. European and U.S. Very it's good. The bulk of it. We've well, it's an amazing display you have here today, mm -hmm. and the nostalgia of the cars is just absolutely overwhelming. Uh, we've had so many people we've talked to downtown that just uh, said such wonderful things about seeing the cars. So really, what, that's these, good. So, so what you're doing is really important to people and it's really means a lot because it's something that's, that comes from their past and you know they're riding around in the back of these things with no with no seat belts and five or ten yes, other we kids. all rode in the <laughs> way back <laughs> we did indeed yes well thank you so much yes thank you you're very welcome well, my name is jeremy schneider i'm from uh, maslin ohio this is my 1972 mercury colony park uh, 400 two barrel motor, uh, not many options, uh, AM, FM, stereo, and uh, third row jump seats. Wonderful. And, uh, I've had it for about the 12 years and uh, no, into I'm... big cars all my life. Uh, my <laughs> grandfather always had station wagons, so this is how I gravitated to this car. It's beautiful. And I've always been a Ford fan. Absolutely. Now, am I to understand you're the new uh, leadership of this uh, assemblage? I'm, I'm the new president of the Con International Station. <laughs> okay, uh, congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, well, we're so thrilled to have you here in Stanton today. Thanks for coming visiting our cars. You're very welcome. Hi, my name is George Holt. I'm with the International Station Wagon Club. We're having our annual convention here in Staunton. Uh, this 
particular one is mine, 1996 Roadmaster, New York Roadmaster wagon, and it's all original, as is. It's got all 50,000 miles on it. It's the very last year that they made this traditional wagon with the rear wheel drive and the full size and the third seat. This one particular was put together in September of 1996. They shut the line forever in October of 1996. So this is one of the very, very last full size wagons. And Buick was at the top of the line. It, Cadillac never made a wagon, but if you wanted a wagon with all the luxuries, you got a Buick. And what they did starting in 1994, GM wanted to boost sales, so they dropped the Corvette engine in it. Corvette LT1 engine in it, 350 horses, and it's uh, 260 horses, 350 cubic inches. Dual exhaust, positive traction, and also electronic fourth gear. Uh, believe it or not, this car can do 21 miles to the gallon on the highway. 15 around town, but all right. <laughs> and as you can see, it's all original. It has leather seats and a holdover from the Vista wagons you'll see down here, the old Vista wagons which had the glass around here on the raised roof is it has a permanent skylight here with shades inside. And it's basically, like I said, it's as is uh, and this is one of three. I have three the same and one which I bought in 1996. Still have it, 185,000 miles, still running, still fine. Uh, this one and the newest acquisition I got on eBay. And uh, I love them and uh, hope you have a good time at the show. Beautiful car. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Very welcome. Okay, so this is my car that I purchased about five years ago. I'd been looking for a 1967 Vista Cruiser for 20 years. I looked at 17 of these cars, and this is when I walked up to this car and saw this at an automobile show in Milwaukee, Wisconsin suburb. I walked up to it and I said, I'm going to own this car someday. And I talked with the owner who was sitting in the lawn chair there, and we talked. I, I went over the car, took two hours, and I left him my phone number, took some pictures of it, and off I went on my way. And then uh, three years later, or two years later, I'm sitting at work at uh, two o'clock in the morning on the computer looking at stuff, and I go, wow, that car looks just like the one I saw um, in Wisconsin. <laughs> Pulled out my iPad out of my man purse, went to the picture, and I go, that is the car. Ah, well, later on that afternoon, I called the uh, place where it was consigned to be sold. I talked to them. Well, I talked to them in the morning. By afternoon, I had financing. I didn't see it for two weeks. And three weeks later, I, the weather was nice enough in February that I actually drove it home. Fantastic. But, uh, so you really got the dr uh, car of your yeah. dreams. And I, I'm from Arlington Heights, Illinois. This car started out being purchased in... Palatine, Illinois, which is the next suburb over. Mm -hmm. From Palatine, I was told it moved to North Carolina. From North Carolina, it went to Florida. Oh, From Florida, it went to the south side of Chicago, mm -hmm. the Chicago City State right, in 1967. Yep. <laughs> and uh, that's the fella that I bought it from. And then, then I drove it home. So Palatine is just a mile, less than a mile from my house. So it made full circle. Me meant to be, wasn't yes. it? It's all original interior. It was painted about 40, 40 years ago. All right. It's and, beautiful. Uh, I actually have five 1967 cutlasses. <laughs> well, thank you I'm so good much. To myself. Yeah, you are. <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> all right. My name is Jeremy Killen. Uh, this here is my grandfather. Well, it's my father's now. It was my grandfather's. He bought it brand new. And we've had it in the family for years. Uh, my dad and I got on work about six years ago. And uh, my grandfather gave it to us a few years before he passed away. So it's 
completely original. Still has the original 429. Still has everything. Just about works on it. So and this is a 1971. Yep. Beautiful car. Yep. 1971 Mercury Marquee wagon. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. Yep. Anytime. Uh, my name's Mark Connors and my wife Deb. We're from Pittsburgh. Uh, we picked this up about 12 years ago. It's uh, unrestored. It's uh, we're the fourth owner. Has 204,000 miles on it. Uh, it's had some engine work done on it. Mostly, it's just uh, stuff that requires replacing with age. Uh, most 99% of it's original paint. The interior is all original. Uh, we enjoy it. We drove down from Pittsburgh, uh, 220 miles. We took all back roads to mm -hmm. enjoy the country. Uh, we've been to Charlotte a couple times with it. We've been to Pigeon Forge a few times. Uh, we go to the Chrysler Carlisle uh, four or five times we've been there. We just enjoy it. Fantastic. This is a beautiful car. And thank you so much for bringing it here. Thank you. You, you, Everyone here is bringing so much happiness to Stanton this weekend. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Beautiful time here. Thank you, Thank sir. You. I can start. Well, hi. Uh, my name is Bill Jacobite. And actually, I'm from right here in Stanton. I live right outside the city limits. Uh, this is a 1964 Studebaker Challenger. It's the last year that Studebakers were built in the United States. It was built in South Bend, Indiana. The green one next to it is a Canadian-built Studebaker. It's a 1965, was built in Hamilton, Ontario. Uh, this car has only 39,000 miles on it. Uh, it was stored for a while uh, after the first owner stopped using it, and then it was resurrected again probably about uh, 15 years ago. Uh, delivered new in New Jersey. Uh, it's a base model car. It's a small six-cylinder engine, a manual shift. Uh, it does have a radio, uh, but that's about it. Not much in the, uh, in the way of options. No power steering, no power brakes, no air conditioning. Uh, the interior is completely original, hasn't been redone. It has had one paint job on the outside. When we got it, this color from back in the day before they had clear coat would chalk out. So the paint was very chalky and you really couldn't clean it up. So we went ahead and finally made the decision to have it repainted, even though they're only original once. Uh, and that work was done right here in Stanton by a fellow named Jay Hoxton. He has since moved, he doesn't have his shop here anymore. But he does wonderful work on cars, paint and, and body work, and he did a beautiful job on, on this car. So this is one of my three Studebakers. I have another 64, a sedan, I have a 63. Hawk, but since this is a station wagon meet, I brought the station wagon out to the meet. <laughs> so unless you have any questions, that's that's pretty much it. That's fantastic. Thank you so well, much, you sir. For asking. I appreciate you, it. You're very welcome. Good. Beautiful car. Thank you. Thank you, love. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you for riding along with us today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until then, happy observing.